So, uh, Rio52, R-E-O-52, one of our viewers, uh, sent in a comment. And he said, take a look at uh, sulforaphane. Uh, Broccoli sprouts have a lot of it. And it's true. Um, <clears throat> in fact, many of us have already heard about broccoli sprout, or all cruciferous vegetables, being very good to prevent cancer and... Um, even treat, even used in treatment of cancer. Well, <clears throat> that's true. Uh, we'll go over the science behind that, but before we do a brief introduction, uh, my name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. -E now, <clears throat> when you look up uh, sulforaphane, you'll find some other names in there. One of them is the general chem chemical name, and you'll see this sometimes when you look up like broccoli anti-cancer, you'll see uh, more likely to see the term uh, isothiocyanate. Again, another big medical word. I'm not going to break the whole thing down other than just one piece of it, the thio part. The thio stands for sulfur in the compound. That's another thing you'll hear about the cruciferous uh, vegetables, that they contain sulfur. And uh, that sulfur in these compounds does appear to be a uh, critical part part of this activity. Um, <clears throat> another term you may hear is uh, uh, glu glucora glucorophanin. I've not seen that term until I was just doing this research. I've obviously seen the others. Um, <clears throat> so let's go through a quick uh, review of some, some of the science behind this. Here's one from Cancer Research, uh, sulforaphane. Um, it's a naturally occurring isothiocyanate. Induces cell cycle arrest and apoptosis in, uh, skip over that, human colon cancer cells. Uh, just real quick, what is apoptosis? Another scientific word meaning cell death. So it, it um, changes the cell cycle and induces cell death of cancer cells. And again, this is not... Um, this is not just internet uh, uh, stuff people make up or, or wish. This is hard science, very well researched. Uh, um, cancer research is a good, uh, a good research magazine, and it goes into some of the details. Uh, again, isothiocyanates uh, naturally occur in, in uh, broccoli, other cruciferous vegetables. It's been shown to block the formation of tumors initiated in rats. It's uh, also, this is an article where they were looking at specific ways and mechanisms. Um, in this one, they said it decreases the cellular viability of, uh, of quiet human uh, colon cancer cells. Um, <clears throat> it induced a cell arrest in a dose-dependent manner, followed by cell death. Again, cell death, the science term is uh, apoptosis. Uh, speaking of really good research magazines, this came out of Nature magazine. Uh, which is uh, possibly the best uh, natural science is hard research. Covers a lot, you know, the huge breakthroughs in genetics as well as other big um, cutting edge sciences. <clears throat> Sulforaphane improves chemotherapy e efficacy by targeting cancer stem cell like properties. Um, and then it goes into the, um, the mechanism. And this is the IL6R that it has to do with interleukin um, and some gene uh, changes. Actually, I'll cover that briefly. Um, this is part of that same article, and I'll put the uh, the citations and links for those articles in the discussion uh, underneath the uh, underneath the video. <clears throat> uh, via activating the interleukin six IL six over IL six receptor uh, STAT three signal transducer and activator of uh, transduce uh, transcription. 
So, <clears throat> again, a little bit too deep and too geeky in terms of the science, but the point here is they're finally beginning to understand the actual cellular biochemistry which makes cruciferous vegetables strong uh, preventers of cancer and actual, uh, actually effective in terms of helping to treat many cancers. Um, <clears throat> it also talks about a potential mechanism of, um, of impacting the... Uh, oh, on the cell organelle, I'm blanking on it. It's the, uh, the mitochondria. Okay, <clears throat> now speaking of interesting facts that you find when you start to research things, look at this. Sulforaphane treatment of autism spectrum disorder. This is also not in a shabby magazine. This is the uh, Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. And again, they're going into uh, similar biochemical activities from uh, uh, sul sulforaphane and the uh, isothiocyanates. <clears throat> And one of the, a couple of the key issues, all of these continue to mention very few um, negative effects of these, uh, of this chemical, um, negligible toxicity. The only place where I've seen some report of toxicity was getting an amount which is equivalent to eating about 200, 250 servings of broccoli in a day. So... <clears throat> Yeah, if you eat that many servings of broccoli, you may have some other problems as well. But it, uh, it was found to protect, uh, it upregulates certain genes. It protects aerobic cells against oxidative stress, inflammation, and DNA damage, all of which are very important in autism disorder as well. So a lot of uh, interesting things with the, the isothiocyanate. So I'll wrap it up with a, uh, a statement from Grandma. Eat your veggies. This is one of my go-to dishes. It's uh, sautéed uh, Brussels sprouts. I also like to sauté uh, um, broccoli, and I do it in virgin olive oil. Thanks for your interest.